Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and it's time for another M Auto Dynamic EQ video tutorial. This is the third one in the series I'm doing with this plugin. Check out the other ones if you haven't already. It's an incredible EQ, one of my favorites and for so many different reasons and it's because it can do so much. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do pitch tracking. So let's go ahead and activate a filter node here. I've got it on this bass channel. Go ahead and just solo this bass. So let's say I want to dip the fundamental or maybe boost the fundamental of this bass. If I pull up this frequency node here, it's, it's boosting, but it's boosting right here when, even when the note actually goes below the frequency node. So the question is, how can I have this frequency node follow that fundamental around? And it's quite easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to the modulator and I'm going to click right here and I'm gonna go clear and learn. And I'm gonna actually just take the frequency position and move it to the right and the left. I can click and drag in here, but this actually causes some issues, but the issues are easily fixed. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go right this, try to pull it back and forth. I'm gonna click right here to stop it, open up the modulator. And this is what I was talking about. Uh, oops. You can see here that I've, learned the frequency and the gain position for this. And uh, I don't want that. If I go ahead and enable this, if we look over here, you can see that that's moving. It's following this LFO path, but it's going up and down and to the left and the right. And I don't want it to go up and down, for instance, uh, right now for this particular example. So I'm just gonna click here. And now it's just moving to the left and the right following this modulator. So I don't want it just to do this over this LFO period. I actually wanna use the pitch information. So I'm gonna click pitch, okay? And what we wanna do is make sure we're using the whole value range here. I'm gonna open up the detector circuit and go all the way down because we are tracking bass here and just bring it all the way up. And let's just go ahead and play the bass now and see what happens. Oops. You see how this filter node is following the fundamental frequency? So now I can boost that however much I want. Let's say, you know, maybe two decibels or something. And it's only boosting the frequency of the fundamental itself. So let's say I want to boost the fifth note of the bass. I can take, you know, I can move up an octave if I wanted to. That's actually kind of where a valley is. So let's um, let's move this back down to zero. And let's say up a fifth would be seven semitones. Let's go up an octave and a fifth and see where that is. So now it's following an octave above plus a fifth. And that's seven semitones, by the way. And this is very helpful if you're trying to make that part shine through smaller speakers. You know, maybe it's a little bit too subby and we want a harmonic to shine through some of the smaller speakers like laptops and phones. You know, we can take this, you know, make the cue a little bit smaller. and it's gonna follow along and only boost the actual harmonic that's being played rather than a static position. And that is so useful when you're trying to be super surgical and super precise, and it was incredibly easy to do. We have some other controls here. We can shift by sense, we can control, you know, what's recognized in terms of detection. We can turn, we can change the range over here. We have so much at our disposal to really make sure we're only boosting or cutting exactly what we're looking for, even if the note itself changes. And that's just phenomenal. That's pitch tracking inside of M Auto Dynamic EQ, just one of the many, many incredible features of this incredible plugin. Anyway, links in the video description if you wanna check out more. I think I got one more video coming out, so the next four video tutorials on this. But as I've been saying for all of these videos, if you have any specific questions about this or any Melda production product, just let me know and I'll try to get a video out for you. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.